first guest is absolutely amazing. She found her dream job when she didn't expect to discover it. And it did not come in a straight line. It was not easy. In 2020, Michelle C. Meyer Ship made history, becoming the first woman of color named as chief people and culture officer at a major league baseball team. <laughs> and baseball. But soon after the pandemic, she said she really got burned out of that job, and she walked away from this huge history-making position and the big paycheck that came with it. But she says she did it to preserve herself. Michelle had no idea, though, that her dream job was just around the corner, and it would include helping other women find their dream jobs. Take a look. No, well, actually, please welcome Michelle C. Meyership to the TAM fam. <laughs> I said, I said, take a look, because I know we're going to share some of the stories of women that you've helped. I had the honor of hosting one of the luncheons for the place where you ended up. Yes. And there was not a dry eye in the house. Before we reveal your dream job, let's talk about where you were. Huge job. Yes. History-making job, but you found yourself burnt out. I did. And you know what's really interesting? I'd had stress my entire career in corporate America, but this stress was different. This stress was physical. Wow. It manifested itself in exhaustion. It manifested itself in heart palpitations. It manifested itself in sleepless nights. And actually, even as I talk about You're it- Tearing up. I'm tearing up. But here's the deal. It wasn't the job and the place. It was 10 years of working as a DEI expert navigating all of the social so justice- DEI expert. Diversity, equity, and inclusion and all of the social justice issues and all of the HR issues related to that, you carry the weight mm. of your employees on your shoulder. And as we can see with what's happening in the world, you can't fix that. Right. So it's exhausting. And as a mother of three black young men, mm. you also don't turn it off at five o'clock. There's my babies. <laughs> had the job, you were making an impact, but you saw the impact that it was having on your health and your family. And yes. then, what was it, a few months after leaving MLB, Yes. you made this pivot. Amazing, yes. Okay, what's your dream job? So I am the CEO of Dress for Success Worldwide. Okay. <laughs> and your dream job allows you to do what? take care of people and help them transform their lives every single day. So, as I said, I had the honor of participating in a luncheon. So for those who don't know, Dress for Success, you help people. What we know in reality is you go in for a job interview, you are judged by your exterior. But if you don't have the resources to buy a suit, to buy the right dress, to buy the right outside attire, you're instantly set up to not succeed. That's right. So what you do as the lead of Dress for Success in the organization, you help people from the outside and inside and resumes to set them up for the dream job. That's exactly right, Cameron. That's exactly right. It is. And you said, I love what you said. I say we're dressing women from the inside out. Yes. It is a full suite of workforce development services. It is life changing. It is. And, and here is actually we have... Um, one of the people who was set up for success. Take a look. I'm Star Ella Arbuin, and I'm from Long Island, New York. I owned a home-based daycare for about seven years. What ended my daycare was Hurricane Sandy. It forced me to close down my business. About a year later, I found another job. Just before I was to start that job, there was a flash flood. I lost the rest of my belongings, and I had no work clothing in order to start my job. We had nothing but the clothing on our backs. Then I found Dress for Success and my life changed. They showed me around the boutique and showed me how to interchange clothing so that I could have a week's worth of clothing for work. They continued to invite me to their professional women's group where they showed me growth and development in leadership, personal finances, and professional development. I cannot show enough gratitude for this organization. This is truly an instrument for women to be empowered. A million 
million bucks. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Um, Thank you. You know, watching your story and seeing this smile on your face right now, is it a dream? It is a dream. Yeah. This organization helps you not only to um, win the, the, the interview, but they help you internally. They, they rebuild your self-esteem. Yeah. And because of that, you know, I'm also recreating my dream job, oh. a new dream job. <laughs> and your dream job is? So my dream job, because I am, I am service oriented, I want to continue helping uh, women. So I'm trying to open up a full scale salon to help women and con to, to continue to yeah. get the complete look um, after the suiting, you get your makeup, you get your nails, you get everything, the complete. So you uh, can walk in there with confidence. That's and that's right. the thing, Michelle, here you, you left what many people would have said, that's a dream job. Yep. But in reality, the dream was meant for you to help other people in this way. That's exactly right. Oh, that's exactly right. Up. That's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. You have to know your passion, right? You have to know. You have to know what fuels you. Yeah. And I'm a people person, and I care deeply. Yes. And, and also, it tells you how do you define a dream, right? That's Some people right. define a dream by money. That's Some people right. define it. Th but that's not always that's right. the dream. Right. Tom that's Brady's right. got the money. He kept coming back because he needed that win, and when he saw he couldn't get the win, now he has to reboot. That's right. And there's another dream meant for him. That's right. How did I just weave Tom Brady into this? <laughs> but it's I all did. good. <laughs> you must know I love football. <laughs> <laughs> But it's true, you don't know what your dream is. You don't, is. you don't. You have to dig in. You have to look within. Well, listen, I, I, Star, I want you to know, and, and Michelle, I, as I said, I, I've uh, been a fan of Dress for Success for so many years, and uh, I'm, I'm so inspired by what you do. And I know that we can't ever walk in someone else's shoes, but we can give someone a step forward. So here's what we did today. We went in my closet, y'all. <laughs> the shoe closet. <laughs> And me and Eric, my stylist from my shoe collection, I'm going to sign them all with a little message to the woman who receives them. We're giving 25 pairs of shoes from my closet so that help women in the workforce. You can bring out the shoes if you want. Where are they? These are some of the shoes that we are donating to Dress for Success. As I said, I want to write little notes for everyone um, who receives them. These are some of the shoes that I've walked in, but at the end of the day, you walk in your own light. You walk in your own space so that you can get your dream job, but it don't hurt if they Gucci. So there you go. <laughs> we, we got everything in here. Thank you, Michelle and Star. I love you. I love everything you do. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Love you, girl. Congratulations. Thank you.